Hey guys, Shane here, CryptoFish YouTube channel. So today we got a little Pundi X Dubai news, and of course it's a uh, enter to win for Bitcoin Fridays. Be back in a bit. All right, so if you're new here, be sure to subscribe, hit that notification bell below. And everyone, uh, enter your BTC wallet address in the comments section below, uh, along with any comments you may have on this video, or you can just leave your uh, BTC wallet address. I'm easy. Um, again, I will be picking winner this Friday, so uh, be sure to watch that video as well. Uh, again, hit that notification bell so you know when that video comes out. All right? So let's get into the Pundi X Dubai news. All right, so yesterday I was looking at the uh, Pundi X's Twitter and something kind of caught my eye, so I'll show you right here. Um, this third one down right here. Uh, we are shipping the XPOS devices to several locations. Here is what you can expect in the box. And so this little short video, uh, I'll leave a link down in the description. Just shows you what they'll be sending out, um, what the um, client will be getting. It's pretty neat. Um, again, I really like this project. It's one of the only, um, you know, projects out there that has an actual physical product, which I think is neat and pretty rare in this space. And it's bringing cryptocurrency um, to the mainstream, really. So um, again, I'll put a link to that down below. And you guys can finish watching that if you want. It's pretty much over with now. But that's what that little machine looks like. It's pretty neat. Um, and also, here is the Dubai news. It's a little uh, press release. Punny X technology to, do, to debut in the Middle East following partnership with EBOOC. Um, Dubai, United Arab Emirates, and Jakarta, Indonesia. Uh, Pundiex, the leading developer of a blockchain-based point of sales, uh, allowing consumers to pay for real goods in multiple cryptocurrencies, will make its debut in the Gulf and Middle East following a partnership with the country's first regional fintech company, EBOOC. Uh, Pundiex and EBOOC will work closely in developing digital payment gateway services for governments, financial institutions, and major corporates in the Gulf and Middle East, as well as broader business lines such as blockchain-based customer loyalty programs and NFC contactless payment options. Uh, the collaboration will bring consumers in Dubai, UAE, and a broader Middle East and Gulf region the ability, ability to conduct real-time commerce through digital payments using their mobile wallets, eliminating the need for traditional payment methods. Um, the technology also has the potential to transform value-added tax, which I'm sure the government likes, uh, collection for governments in the Gulf and Middle East as blockchain technology allows for instant computation and collection of recently introduced VAT in the region. EBOOC forecasts the introduction of instant VAT computation as holding major benefits for merchants and governments alike and bringing substantial efficiencies and reduced manpower devoted to audits, assessments, and implementation. Um, let me see. There was something else down here that struck what I liked. Um, let me see if I can find it. Sunhill Mall. Rata, the managing director, B Chain, and co-founder of EBOC, said an EBOC Pundiex partnership will deliver a differentiated customer experience through innovative features, seamless integration, a loyalty solution, enhanced security, and greater convenience to governments, businesses, and consumers in Dubai. UAE and the region make the financial transactions on the next gen platform in a smart way bringing together various service providers under one platform. There is no better way to announce Pundi X's arrival in the Middle East and North Africa with the partnership with EBOC, the region's technology hub. Um, 
so that's pretty much it. Um, I think that was really cool. They are supposed to be shipping out a lot of these. That's what I was looking for. Um, let me see if I can find it. Here we go. Following meetings in Dubai and Jakarta, a memorandum of understanding was signed between Pundiex CEO and co-founder Zach che, Chia and CEO of Digital Force and co-founder of EBOOC, Abdullah Ashamsi, to commit to deployment of a soon-to-be-announced number of Pundiex devices across the Middle East. So these guys are making a lot of headway in their uh, project and getting it out into the hands of um, businesses and governments. So they're doing their end. I'm just hoping the um, it really picks up and people start using it. It would be uh, really cool. Uh, I did do a video just a few days ago at Pundix as well. You know, I'm um, teaming up with Verge, and they will be offering Verge uh, through the Pundix platform now. That video should be popping up above. Um, so they're doing a lot of good things, a lot of cool things, uh, big partnerships. Um, but unfortunately, the price we will check out here. 0.001809, but it is super low right now, so I may buy some more shares of it. I already got uh, almost 6,500, I think it is. And what thing is cool about Pundix as well is they do airdrops every month. So I think I got four or five hundred last month. So the more coins you have, the more uh, airdrop coins you get. So I may be buying some more. We'll see. But uh, speaking of the markets, let me see if it will load here. Maybe, maybe not. All right, the markets, Bitcoin 6227. So everything is absolutely taking a bloodbath today. Ethereum Classic, I did that video yesterday, down to 1531, was almost $20 yesterday. I mean, it's just a massive sell-off. Of course, that is because the um, Bitcoin ETFs were um, postponed again by the S well, postponed by the uh, SEC. So everything took a nice dump. Great as usual. Just kidding. Market cap 219 billion. That may dip below 200 billion, which would not be good. Volume very high. It means everyone's selling their stuff. So I guess that's going to be it for the Dubai news, guys. Let's check out my Stellite mining, which has been going second day now. Um, almost two full days. As you can see, I got 10,497 Stellite coins. Just got a payment here a little bit ago, 616. Uh, the official pool, pulling 1.97 kilohash on that small NVIDIA rig. And there it is. Got about 48 coming to me now. So I don't, honestly don't know how many coins I'm going to get, but it's going to be uh, maybe 100,000 coins at this rate. It'll be pretty easy to get there. Um, rigs, again, this is doing Stellite. This is doing uh, Ethereum, converting it to Ethereum Classic. Uh, I've got about $24 worth of Ethereum Classic this week. 1.29 coins. Of course, I have not updated the prices. I'm a little scared to because it's going to be a big drop in my total value mined. Um, so far this week, 32.38, but with the drop of 10 to 15 percent, that should probably go in the mid 20s. Um, here's my Stellite coins, 10,497, giving me two dollars 24 cents. I did notice Stellite did not drop all that much. Let me see if I can pull it up. It says it, it dropped a, a bunch. I think it was like 23%, 27%, 0 0.00186. But the tally I put in yesterday, which is right here, was 0 0.001213. Uh, so I don't know why it says it was that big of a drop. Maybe it is that big because it's such a small number. Anyways. Um, what my rigs have done here past 24 hours. Again, I will finalize the uh, stats uh, tomorrow night about 10 o'clock and probably will not be a very good week. 
I would be surprised if we hit mid 30s. Okay, guys. So with that, I guess that's going to be it for um, today's video. If you guys, uh, well, be sure to enter your BTC wallet address below. And uh, if you guys have any questions or comment as well, you can put those down there too. Be sure to subscribe, hit that notification bell, and spread the word, guys. Um, I really appreciate it. All right. Thanks again for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Take care. Bye.